Right, so um, at the moment, just because of the angle, I'm just not going to do anything around the eyes because I can't quite reach. Um, but what I will do is just in this last session, just start to make sense of the, just go over this grey just slightly, just add a bit more colour. It does appear fairly rough, maybe, but if you look at painters like Titian or Tintoretto, um, you know, there's there's a definite, not in every painting, but you know, there's a definite painterly quality that their have that their work has um, as they apply to each glaze. You can see evidence of your glazes underneath. I think, you know, also Rembrandt being one of the greatest painters of all time. Again, just a, a lovely painterly aspect. We don't have to have everything really super clean all the time. I've never really painted like that, although if I do some demonstrations, I'd like to try and get closer than I ever have to maybe someone like Vermeer. I just mean that, you know, it's good to try. It's good to just have a go. You know, you never would, but um, it's just always learning. Or like Ang. Again, I'm sort of. I enjoy the specific techniques, but what I, um, you know, I think they need to be interpreted uh, based on where we are now. We don't need. I don't feel like I want to just be hidebound to certain um, perceived techniques of various artists. Uh, it's finding a way to, um, you, you know, use the learning to create something now. So, you know, like, yeah, I might not be using um, flake white or something if I do <coughs> something in the style of um, Caravaggio, but, you know, it's not, entirely necessary every time I don't want it to get in the way of just making a painting You know, I can't articulate it all now, but hopefully, yeah, just over time, as I do these videos, if anyone's listening, I'm just rambling on about what I think about painting, generally, and art. So, that seems to make it less cool. Less grey, don't want the grey anymore. But um, I'm not, I don't know about those colours. It's more, it's not as warm as that. E. Pinky, it's gonna have blue then. So this is gonna be 
<coughs> noticeably cooler. Oh, I didn't do anything with the lip. I'm going to leave. I'm quite happy with the lips as they are relative to everything else. So I'm just going to leave them for now. I might not film myself doing the third glaze on this one. I don't know how many people really look at those things anyway. And um, yeah, I need to be able to sort of get in closer. So, I don't know what I've done there. Oh. The problem is sometimes I can as I, I kind of lose interest in a particular in a given session with a particular painting and so then I start um, being a bit too slapdash I think I'm gonna leave it soonish Got to find some yellow in here. There's just you've got the collarbone coming round, and then it goes up into the neck, and then there's a lighter area. Uh, so this is all anatomical. If you can see that I'm mixing up just kind of a yellowy, very pale yellow, because that's this. And that goes all the way around. I've got some more white. So it's sort of flatter there and then, yeah, I don't know what I did before, but I wasn't really right. And then this area, so it joins. I will resolve the, all of these things, you know, can be resolved in further glazes. white with you yeah, very very pale I must put some more medium in otherwise it's going to take forever to dry so it's a highlight sort of within a highlight Just put some, got some medium on my brush, but just to soften it. I just want to soften these edges. And here, and then to there. This is all quite just uh, transitions. It's very, very yellow actually. That's maybe it's still yellow. 
it's just a dark yellow so this is yellow and red together just gonna see what this is like where i've done it before is it just a little bit ugly yeah i think what i need is then to use what's there because that is sort of this whole area too much colour. So it's just this area, this drawing is a bit wrong. Maybe it's between the two. This is a good one with the blue and the crimson. Um, because what I want to, that's, there's just a slight There. Just trying to, it's just a transition, but you know, again, it's just me being a bit sloppy. This has got a green almost, but. Definitely so light, light in the, there's this. It needs more, it's too, getting a bit dry. So you see I'm just going, just trying to find that definitely picks up the light here. But I think I have worked on this a little bit soon and it's picking up some of the paint. Not really, I mean a tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Blend that and just give it a bit of light. That's picked up that other light bit, which I don't want. It just doesn't have this line between the two, between this muscle and the tendon and the throat. It doesn't. As I said, I can, you know, you can spend a long time doing these sorts of transitions as long as you want. I don't do it enough, I suppose. I can do, I think come the third glaze, if I'm careful, I'll get a bigger brush and I can, I can definitely smooth, smooth them. 
I think more than that, what I'm after is that, you know, there's, as well as on the canvas, like it's going to mix on in the eye, you know, as you look at it from a distance. And then it's not soft enough. So what I need to do is possibly third glaze or possibly now I can just find something that's between this area and the light and just bring them together. Desperate stuff. Oh, wow. That's all right. That's all right. In the shadow there, it's very, very warm, actually. probably just going to have to stop and work it out later um, but I can see I need to just add a skin tone um, down just below her collarbone so I'll do that now so this this area basically I've just gone over it with the uh, that's the very very first coat I did and it's sort of close, I suppose, but it just doesn't look that great now because I didn't work into it with anything. Um, that's just way too much red. So I'm going to use something that's here already. But I need... Wow, the white is it's going... Oh, yeah, you might not be able to see it. Um, I think it's sort of this. Possibly too pink. It just needs the white to, I don't know, somehow that just makes the, f the first bit better. Um, less it can look like it's just sitting on the surface and again I'm using the um, hog's hair just slight just not the most attractive applic paint application and this is it's not that great in fact it's just really just off some things you just don't notice. Sort of, it's a weird bit here because um, it does look grey in the reference. But again, that's what I meant by I'm just trying to harmonise it all. It's honestly quite hard to tell. Um, just got some white here that I'll put up. It's terrible for drying. More yellow. Mm. 
It's just, it's so close. But it is different. Not enough colour there, I don't think. So every time I do it, it just picks off what's already there. Um, okay, so before we finish, I'm just gonna uh, use what I think is a good highlight uh, to just do a couple of these, pick out these bits. This is very bright. It's not even that. Yeah, I suppose that's good in there. And then I still can't get this, can't seem to settle on this. And then it's this area. I need to do is use a very fine brush and then um, do that after I never train to use a mile stick so I always forget but I do have a bit of bamboo somewhere where I can I can use to steady myself I know this is wrong. I mean, I can, I will tidy that up with the background. And yeah, this just needs something. It's just all in the drawing. to just um, iron out with another glaze, I think. Or just maybe there slightly. I'm just going to leave it there then. Um, thank you for watching if you made it this far. See you next time.